So alright people, we are going to make some cornmeal porridge. As a matter of fact, I'm teaching my husband how to make cornmeal porridge. Because he loves cornmeal porridge. So I'm using just a little bit of cornmeal. That's my cornmeal finish. So I pass it through a sieve just to ensure that everything, it is free from lumps and every, um, weeble bugs or anything like that now to the cornmeal is gonna add some salt as well as a little bit of coconut powder so gonna add just a little bit of salt and the coconut powder all of it And this is not the traditional method of preparing cornmeal porridge. If you want the traditional method, it is already on my site. Use a fork to combine the coconut powder and the cornmeal and the salt. So I've then sure the lumps it is free from lumps so now he's using a small amount of water at a time pour water pour pour and store don't store and pour continue pour continue pour don't stop pour just continue pour and store pour Because the thing is, this you don't want if it clump up. So if you store on a port, it will clump up like farm, we you call it. Farm what? <laughs> Yo! <laughs> People don't understand what I say. Yeah, you must have to continue to pour on a store. You understand? Right. Camera lean. Pour, pour some more, man. Pour all that water when I container. And give it a good stir now. Ensure it's free from lumps. Alright, so we're not going to add no more water because we don't have no more cornmeal. So if it's too thin, you don't like thin porridge. So we can't add no more water. We even have to remove some of my water from outside pot as well. If it needs more water, then we add it. Alright people, so now we have to add the cornmeal mixture to the water. Right. And then I'll give it a good stir. So now we have to cover the pot and then allow the cornmeal to cook and determine if it needs more water and you can cook it and, and cover it as well so at this point some people put a little bit of margarine into the porridge to prevent the porridge from popping but 
I don't want no, no margarine in my porridge, just giving you the tip that if you want you can add the, um, the margarine or the butter, just a little piece. So now I am going to add a little bit of the cinnamon water that I removed from the pot. Because as you can see the cornmeal is getting thick. or more vigorous so now Put in your coconut milk and stir. So you can meal swell. Put you pour in all that coconut milk because that's swell. When you're ready, it's that stern. So at this point, he is removing the cinnamon leaves from the porridge because he does not like when his porridge dish out and the cinnamon leaves are in it. And then he will have to remove it then. So he rather to remove it at this point. So the porridge is cooked so it's time to sweeten it he is using sweet and condensed milk to sweeten his porridge because he does not like sugar and the condensed milk to sweeten his porridge he only likes sweet and condensed milk some people use sugar as well as the sweetened condensed milk but to each his own I also do not like sugar to sweeten my porridge as well the consistency of the porridge is so thick and look at it it is so smooth and that's how he likes this porridge he likes it really thick and smooth now he is putting some rose water into the porridge as well as vanilla and a freshly grated nutmeg and those spices will give the porridge its flavor so nice so you might be asking what happened to cinnamon powder well we don't use cinnamon powder or we don't put cinnamon powder into the porridge because we already use the cinnamon leaves to infuse flavor into the water and the cinnamon leaves has a stronger flavor than the powder but if you cannot get cinnamon leaves you can always use the cinnamon powder so as I mentioned before he added some spices so that is the nutmeg that he's now adding the total cooking time for the porridge takes around 20-25 minutes because we use refined cornmeal. Always use refined cornmeal when making cornmeal porridge because it is much easier to cook and it tastes much better than when you use the coarse cornmeal. So when you're buying the cornmeal, look for the word refined 
on the package so this is it it's porridge is extremely thick this is not my favorite way of making porridge because I like my porridge in between thick and thin but you know in love him thick so that you can actually cut it and eat it like pudding that's how we like <laughs> that's how he likes it we call this type of porridge pop in Jamaica and it is the type of porridge that you will give to a baby that is three months or older yeah man so he enjoy his porridge with tough crackers instead of bread <laughs> oh my lord so if you like this video you can give it a thumb up yeah man so this is it cornmeal porridge husband style <laughs> thanks for watching stay blessed